Oklahoma allows parents to ban LGBTQ plus books from school libraries. Republican State Senator Rob Standridge of Oklahoma has introduced a bill that will give individual parents the power to demand the removal of any book from school shelves that they believe contains LGBTQ content. The bill, SB 1142, states that schools should be banned from carrying texts that cover, quote, the study of sex, sexual preferences, sexual activity, sexual perversion, sex-based classifications, sexual identity, or gender identity, or books that are of a sexual nature, end of quote. According to the bill, school staff will be required to remove any such book within 30 days of a parent's request. If the staff doesn't comply, they will be terminated. Not only that, but they will be blocked from being hired at any other public school for two years. The bill will also entitle parents who have requested the removal of a book to seek damages in the amount of a minimum of $10,000 per day for each day the book remains on the shelves. Standridge has named specific books that concern him, including Trans Teens Survival Guide and a quick, quick and easy guide to date them pronouns, calling them overly sexualized. Wow. Where do we begin on this crap? Uh, I, the, <laughs> you know, do we really have to start the new year with one of these crappy bills? Seriously? Victor, <laughs> talk to me. You know, it's, it's, it's always insane. You know, you have a government official basically going against the First Amendment in schools, which is all government. These are all quite frankly, First Amendment issues, yet the same person probably will complain to Facebook and Twitter, which are private companies, about banning them from the whole scenario. I mean, it's, it's insane that in this day and age uh, we have a bill that's talking about this. Are they going to ban history books when they get to, you know, you know whatever, um, Harvey Milk in, 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 yeah, in this? I mean, I mean, in the reality is, I, it, it, like, where does the line go? You know, why are you giving this so much power to parents? That's why we have school boards and people who set curriculums. And yep. the point is for, to educate people and also to get them to go beyond themselves and make you think. And we're already seeing this. I mean, we're seeing this with critical race theory bans. Like, that is, like, people are scared of, 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 of history. They're scared mm -hmm. of the truth. They're mm -hmm. scared of, of, like, Standridge or whatever the hell your name is. Like, what, what, what are you so scared of, right? Like, I mean, what, how, if we read just the titles, uh, Trans Teen Survival Guide and a Quick and Easy Guide to They Them Pronouns, how, what is overly sexualized about that? And also, what is so scary about understanding things like sex, if that was sexual? Like, that is, like, what, what is... The, the significance of all of this is, is that this is a form of censorship and it goes against actual survival of people who need this kind of, uh, all of us, right? We all be, are better by this kind of literature. This and that's, the, and that's what I'm thinking about, Julio, is that, yeah. that teenager, that young person yeah. that's wondering, okay, that maybe they don't have somebody in their community that right. they can talk to, so they're going to go seek out a book that might guide them, and now these particular books aren't going to be there either, you know? But you're still going to teach about... Christopher Columbus, that was the biggest rapist, you know? Right. But yeah, still, he discovered America. Let's talk about that. But you don't want to talk about LGBTQ plus history, which is the truth. Yeah. This is the continuation of the cultural uh, yeah. battle yeah. that we have. I mean, it started with, you know, religious freedom and then, you know, allowing uh, uh, the use of bathroom for, que yeah. que you know, trans girls. And now this, I mean, the, they're not going to stop. This is the, the, the yeah. conservative right that is not going to stop until they get their way. That's going to get a bunch of Karen moms ready to pounce. I could just see them right now. The million moms, what is it, the five Karens that all hang out and talk <laughs> crap about school boards and stuff like that and not allowing schools like this and school, I mean, uh, books like these and schools, whatever. We're, we're here to combat you people, so yeah, don't worry. Right. But also, I mean, going with that, the, the parents should actually, there'll be some parents there that they're wondering about their kids, that they also would probably want their books just to like learn up on their, yeah. their subject matter. It's, not, not, it's about the kids themselves, but it's also, quite frankly, sometimes it's about the parents wanting to learn more and, and help That's their right. kids. You know, it, it's hurting everybody. You know, like it's, it's not helping anybody. I hate to think about it this way too, but I'm sure that we all reson it resonates with all of us in some ways. But for how many times did I just go to the library as a kid, hoping to see like a glimpse of what you know resonated with you, someone who might have had that experience, or or you know, you you, you were scrolling to the you know TV channels, hoping to you know queer as folk for me was what, you know I'd do it, and then like when someone would walk past by, I would change. Like it's so important to see a part of yourself to understand who you are and that these things are, are this, this is actually just 
against human life. Again. I, re I remember being younger and just knowing that I was a lesbian. I just knew it, you know? And I remember going to the library and looking for a book and it was like in special interest yeah. section. It didn't even mm -hmm. have an LGBTQ yeah. section in that time, you know? And now you even want to filter books that can help people, yeah. you know, books that are, ne that are necessary to many of us. You know, the, there is no coincidence that the, the rate of suicide in our community skyrockets constantly. And, and, and you're, you're feeding the ability for more of that to happen by taking these books off shelves. Yeah. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ 